It's recording. Red light means that it's recording. Oh, the red light is on. Huh? That red light's on. Hi. Happy New Year's Eve, you guys. As promised, I got him with me tonight. Sorry that it took us so long. By the time this goes up, it's by the time this goes up, it's gonna probably be 11. So you guys may be seeing it going into the new year. But this is our last hour, last video of the new year. He'll be on some stuff with me. Um, but this is the wrap up 90 Day Fiance. I already did my part with the rest of them. He really feels some type of way. Good. He really feels some way about Nicole and Azin. So really feels some type of way about that. We're going to wrap up 90 Day Fiance. And I'm going to get into the tell-all a little bit more now that he's here and the dog's making out with him. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this because um, I want this up by time. Anyway, so so for some background information for Nicole and Azin, Nicole met Azin on a app like most of them do. They've three seasons. Season three and season four, and now season five. Anyway, no, it's two seasons. It's only been two seasons. We just met Nicole and Azin. I'm just saying, whatever. We met Nicole and Azin a while back. This is not their first time on 90 Day Fiance. They are a return couple, kind of like Muhammad and Danielle. But instead of Muhammad and Danielle, we now have Azin and Nicole. We might do a throw. We might do a throwback ninety day fiance so that you can like no, get that out. No, don't I, need to do a throwback. Well, babe, babe. So anyway, so a little bit of a background story. Like I said, they met from what we met them a few seasons back. He says that it's been two seasons. I think it's only. I think it's. You know, he said in four. I think it's only been two this season and then last season when we met them. But I could be wrong. He could be right. I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure I'm right because he doesn't really watch TV like I do. But you never know. Anyway, we met Nicole. She was on her way to Morocco. Her mother and her family had some reservations about the situation from the very beginning. So in the beginning... What are you looking at? Is that a tattoo on her face? Yeah. You, you couldn't even notice it until... Anyway, y'all... So her mother and her family were not really happy about her going over to Morocco because they felt like she was not going to come back. At some point, her mother literally says that the worst thing about Morocco is the human trafficking. <laughs> so we already see where her family stands about her leaving to go to Morocco. Maybe organ harvesting. She ain't. It doesn't matter what the reason is, is, but her little brother seems to have way more sense in the first season where we meet them. He seems to have questions that she's not even considering. What is her head wrap? What is she going to dress like because she's in another culture? And Nicole just seemed like she didn't give a good goddamn one way or another. She was just going to go see Azin. So she gets over there and of course she, you know, he realizes that Nicole's probably been kind of lying. He didn't think she was that big. And he sees her for the first time, and he goes, I didn't think she was that big. Literally looks at the camera and goes, she's a little bigger than I thought she was. So I'm not even 100% sure what pictures Azin had been looking at up until that point. So we get to this season. Um, and this season, she goes back to Morocco, but she decides that she's going to take her daughter, May, who's like two. And her mother's like, listen, I don't care if you go back to Morocco, but please do not take my grandbaby back over. Like, do not take her over there. And like in Nicole's head, this makes perfect sense. I need to see if Az is going to be a good dad to May before he comes to the States. Coming, coming here to the States is not the time to figure out if he's going to be a good father. And in some way, she's right. But I wonder if there was like another way to do that without her having to be over there in Morocco for two months. So there was definitely another way. But... Either way, she takes the baby over to Morocco. Her family completely hates the idea. She has bullied her dad and her stepmom into helping her sponsor as in coming over here because she's definitely not making enough money that's going to be able to support herself, May, and as in as a family unit. So she needs a second person to co-sign for her, just like David and Annie needed Chris to co-sign for them. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So, yeah, I did those. I did them. So, you don't follow me? 
you know, you're not subscribed to my channel? I am, but I work. And I didn't. And when I came in here, I had, to, I had to do my research for this video. But I did them yesterday. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, they get over to Morocco, and Azen is in love with May right off the break. But my biggest issue is that she lets she lets May call as in dad. And apparently she had been letting her do that from the very beginning of their relationship. Maybe like like she said, like a week or so into it, she started introducing May to as in as daddy. And she had did this before. So, you know, I have a little bit of an issue with that, but not my kid, not my problem. I guess she's destroying May because she did this before with another boyfriend, which was not May's dad. So May's going to be a very, very confused little girl because she's not going to be sure why she has so many daddies compared to the rest of the world. I mean, it's better than it's better than growing up and it's like, oh, that's your uncle Azzy. They're, they're white. I think that's a black thing. I don't think that's a black thing. I do. Shit. So anyway. This is your uncle Azzy. So anyway, they get over there. As and his family is in love with May. They are, of course, taken to her right away because she's a kid. So she's an innocent bystander in this. However, Nicole is very disrespectful and Nicole does not wear a head wrap, which I wish she would because you are in another country in another culture and you need to abide by their laws and their rules. But she does not. She does not decide to put on a dress, nor does she put on a head wrap. And as they proceed to get through these days, we learn that for the past six months, Nicole had been taking care of Azen, sending him five and six hundred dollars at a time because it was her fault that he lost his job. And every time he tried to get a job, that was bullshit. And every time he tried to get a job, she would put him in a position where he would lose it all over again. He would turn off his phone and then they would argue. So he just decided not to turn his phone off and not to work because he didn't want to deal with Nicole's crazy. Now, I've seen people say that Nicole was not the one wrong and as it needs to be a man. But when you have a psychotic girlfriend who continues to call and text and if you turn your phone off and don't answer, she gets 20 times worse. You kind of put him in an abusive situation. I'm just saying. Man, yo, check it out. Listen, I don't even. I don't even like. I don't even talk talk to her like I used to when I was at work. You know, I used that, to be home more. But that, but yo, that that was bullshit. Like you, I think that was really her insecurity. Like, I mean, look at him. He this this nigga was this one was like I mean that in at that time when he lost his job the first time she had cheated on him and he really wasn't feeling the situation and he really wasn't talking to her so I think she was just trying to make sure that they were still okay and her way of like trying to prove that she wasn't cheating was to talk to him and text him all day long I'm not saying it's right I'm just saying I think that's what it was she cheated on him anyway so. We also find out that Nicole cheated again. She doesn't wear her engagement ring while she's in the States. And she hangs out with male friends and tells him that they're females. So in the middle of a meeting, um, one of the sit downs. He's like, you can say guy. Yeah, he you does. Guy. Like, they're like, well, Nicole, who did you hang out with that night that you and Azen got into this big fight? And she's like, oh, it was just a guy friend. You did not tell me it was guy. And Azen reacts like that. Like, what? You didn't say that. Like, you told me this was your friends, your homegirls. Like, you told me these were girls. You didn't tell me it was a guy. And she, like, gets all pissy and she storms off like the brat that she is. And she's a manipulator. And the reality of the situation is she tries to manipulate Azen to stay with her. And I wish he would just go ahead about his business and find himself another way over here to the States and find himself a prettier girl and find him a Muslim girl that's going to understand and respect his culture. Because the reality of the situation is Nicole could care less one way or another. You're going to do crap the way she wants you to do it or she's going to throw a fit and make you feel bad. As in is really, really healthy and Nicole has no idea what live chicken looks like. And she freaks out when she realizes that it has to get cut like the head has to get cut off. Before they actually wrap it for us over here in America. And he takes her to the farmer's market and she freaks the hell out. Like she does not understand what is going on. She does not want to taste the aunt's, what was it, sheep his head? Like the aunt goes out of her way. She buys this sheep's head, which probably costs a whole lot of money in their culture. She cooks it all day long. And Nicole could not even muster up the respect to just taste it, swallow it, and never taste it again. Just so that as in, listen... Azen has to adapt to her stuff, and I feel like just I, out of respect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real, out of pride. 
I'd have probably bit it. I'd have probably tasted it. I probably wouldn't have been able to swallow it. It's the way you do things that's that makes it look disrespectful, though. Like if you're just picking it up and you're, that's disrespectful as fuck. Oh, man, I just took a spoonful. Anyway, just don't tell me what it is. Well, they had to tell me what it was, or else it'll look like they were trying to poison her or something. So. I just think Nicole is manipulative. She makes her family feel really, really bad um, for not really supporting the whole relationship between her and Azin. She tells the dad and the mom all the time that if you guys don't support me, that's fine. We'll just move to Morocco. And I can't imagine that happening. She barely takes care of May of in America. Her mother seems like she does a lot of it. And for her to go to Morocco, I just don't know how that would work out. And then over there in that culture, it is illegal to hit a man. And not only did she hit Azin, she pushed him up the steps. She yells at him in public. You just told me to wait. No, 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 I'm saying you keep talking. I'm, um, yeah, it is I'm, illegal. And so, Google some, um, yeah, the rules, relationship rules. Now you keep going. You keep going. I was trying to show them what you were doing. You can't just stop and start researching something. Anyway, while he's doing that. So, at the end of it, you know, if I feel like if Asin would have hit her, more people would have been a lot more upset and people would have intervened. But the fact that she's a girl hitting on him, nobody felt the need to say anything. And I think that's bull because I, I am a firm believer of don't put your hands on my kid. I don't care if you're a girl and he's a boy or what the hell ever. You hit my kid and my kid decides to swing back. You should have told your kid to keep his or her hands to themselves. Nobody hit nobody. That is my golden rule. Period. You want to swing on a man, you should probably be prepared. And I know people are going to be like, oh my God, how could you say that? But the reality is, you keep your hands to yourself. He's a man. He's a man. So you don't hit him. Don't hit them. It's not okay. You don't hit them. But she did. She not only hit him, she yells at him and humiliates him. And that shit pisses him off because he's like, what? Women in my culture would never. And everybody's like, well, he needs to just adapt to American culture. No, absolutely not. I think she's just manipulative and she makes him feel so bad for, for wanting her to be healthy. Like, I mean, okay, he probably shouldn't call her fat and lazy because he knew what it was when she came over the first time. So calling her fat and lazy is definitely not the way to motivate her. But Nicole also knows that Azin wants to be with a woman that's going to keep herself together and keep herself healthy. And if she's not prepared to do that, she needs to let go. She says a comment like, um, I shouldn't have to change myself to be with any man. But yet you stay with a man who wants you to change everything about yourself. So the message that you're sending out is totally confusing. You shouldn't have to change yourself, but you're going to stay. I don't know. What are you looking for? That's not, that's just a thing, babe. That's not like they got rules written down. Uh, actually, they do. So, anyway. They can't touch, they can't hold hands, you can't kiss in public, no PDA. So, and that was another thing that kind of like pissed me off about her. It's like she wanted to hold his hand, and then it was like the brother asked her, Did you do your research? He did. Did you do your research? And she's, No, I mean, for what? I'll deal with it when I get there. Like, bitch. That's oh. using her response to everything. She hasn't listen. I listen. I, I I'm I'm full. You know, I'm fully behind the whole bro. Cross that bridge when we get to a thing. I wish, you but were. seriously, but seriously, that right there. Are you going to a whole other country that don't even that don't really like us? Uh, Most of the time, like I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I just believe that we Americans go to other countries. Bro. They don't fuck with us. They really don't mess with us. They I mean they like our money, but they don't fuck. So anyway, at the end of their trip, after the two months stay there, and they fought and they argued and whatever, she finally goes home. As it looks like he is super duper relieved. He says that he's going to miss May, and then he goes also her mother. Like he never says that he's going to miss Nicole the way he said he's going to miss May. He said he's going to miss May, but he's like you know he's happy that Nicole's is leaving, just like he did the first time. He was happy that Nicole left and he could go back to his regular life because she acted a damn fool. And she misrepresented the American people like she did this season. She said stupid stuff about Trump. Unfortunately, they either gonna they either cut it out or the cameras weren't there to hear it. So we get back to America and the family's like, so how did it all go? And she's like, Oh, it went the way it went. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, he got his approval so that he like she got home, she filled out the paperwork, she sent it in, and he got his interview. And the mother's like really concerned. Like, so if he 
gets it, how soon can she be over here? She said, well, honestly, as soon as he's done with the interview process, if they tell him that he's good to go, he could leave tonight. He could be here as early as tomorrow morning or, you know, two days from now. And the mother, like, what? Like, she's just not prepared for it. So let's be past to the tell-all. I'm sorry, baby. You didn't watch the tell-all. So. No, but I, I, no, but I seriously got a problem. Like, I seriously got a problem with that. It's like, yo, she been talking about this shit for, like, like months. And like, She didn't think she was going to go through with it. She says, she says it herself. That's what I'm about to get to. So in a tell-all, we finally get to meet her mom. And Miss Lee is what I'm going to call her. So Miss Lee is like, listen. Nicole constantly asks me for money and I give it to her, but I have access to see where her money's going. And every time I turn around, there's always a Western Union. Western Union, Western Union, Western Union. So Nicole goes to work, she gets her money, and then she sends it all this, off to Azzy. Yeah, I'm about to say, this is her money? This is the money that she works for? This is the money she works for, but then she turns around and asks her mother for help. So the mother is like, why don't you have any money? So she sends all of her money off to Azin and then suspects her, you know, she has the expectation that her parents are going to take care of her. Making sure that her may have food and rent and things like that because she sent hundreds of thousands of dollars to this at this point to Azin. As and she should. Anyway, so her mother's like, I can't honestly say that Nicole's responsible and I can't honestly say that Azin's ready to come over here. And keep in mind that at this point, we cannot find Azin. Like, no one can find him. She hasn't talked to him in, like, spoken to him in three days. The producers haven't spoken to him in three days. He is dodging and ducking every phone call, video call. She's even gone as far as to call from an international phone number that one of the producers have, and he dodges the phone. Like, he dodges the phone call. He's, like, not having it. He does not want to be a part of this. He doesn't even want to have a conversation with anybody on the stage. So she's upset. She's pissed off. She's angry. And her mother, like, realizes, like, visibly how upset she is. But the rest of the cast members that's on there are like, listen, I don't think Azin loves you. Flat out says it, I don't think he loves you. I think he's really just trying to get over for a green card. And if he can't get over here with you, he'll figure it out. Because he's not interested in you at all. That's interesting. I mean, it's interesting that they say that because when you watch it, it's like, yo, he, I, I, I think that he loved her. Like I think he was in, he he loved her he was in love with her until she came to live with him. I don't think she he I don't think he was in love with her. I think he was in love with the idea of coming to America and then realized what it was. No, nah, see I don't even think. But that's the thing. It's like I don't really think that. I think that when I think that when she when she came when she came over there just by herself and she was only there for like what a couple weeks. Oh, like a month. Like a month. She was there for like a month. Wow. Anyway. But it was like, no, see, but that was the beginning. Like, that was the beginning. And it was like, now nah, he was saying he saw what life was going to be like living with her. And then all of a sudden, he, um, then all of a sudden, he, once she went home, it's like they talked more. And then it's like, yeah, he, you know, it's, I feel like he fell in love with her. He fell in love with her all over again. It's like, well, he in love with her as long as they not near each other. Like on well, then some, he's uh, not in love with her. On some handcuffs. Yeah, they're not in love with no, but man. think about well, it. Well, he's not in love with her. Listen, no. if you, if I'm in love with you, no, but if you, I'm even in love with you one way or another, it doesn't matter if you're close no, to me or far away. I understand that, but that's what it is. It's like, you know, they, they butt heads, they butt heads when they were, um, when she first came. And it was like one of those things where it was like, he, he, you know, he dealt with it. And then when they left, it's like, they got closer. And then when she was like, oh yeah, we're going to come, we're going to come. And this time I'm going to bring May. And it's like, all right, cool, you know. Then it came more, then she came, and then it's like, yo, she had even more demands than she did the first She's time. She's manipulative. And so, it's like, hey. so he falls in love with an idea that she that she sells him. She tells him that he's like she tells him that she's gonna change and then she doesn't. And he thinks that she's actually in America changing. He can't prove that she's not. So he trusts and believes her, and then you find out that nothing has changed. And she doesn't even biggest, eat vegetables, she doesn't even feed them to her kid. Yo, and then the biggest thing about that. And the biggest thing about that one, like that I saw, was like, yo, he he's trying. He eats the way he eats, and it's like he, like I mean, he's a gym rat. Like he go, like he he likes to go to the gym. He likes to work, you know. He likes to work out. He likes to work out. That is that is one of his that is one of his pastimes. If you knew this, when you knew this when y'all were talking, he he enjoys, you know, he enjoys 
working out. Uh, he he eats healthy, I guess you know. He I mean I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't necessarily say he's healthy, but he takes sorry y'all. He takes great care. I mean he takes great pride in what he puts in his body. Yeah. And then now when you come on, when you come in the picture, and it's like he want he wants to share that with you. He want he wants you to be healthy, but then what you say to him is, do you but do you see what I'm asking? What you're asking of me? And he said, what? To work out and not be lazy. Like, he's like to work out and eat right. And she's like, yeah, and to change. I just don't think he understands. Like now, my only thing about that is, like I said, I feel like he could have found a better way to say that. I just don't think he understands that in America, it's so easy. It's so easy to get fast food and it's so easy to come across that. That is like, that's something that she, like, it's a change of mind that she has to make and she's not ready to change her mind. So anyway, at the tell all, she's not, sorry. She's not ready to change her mind. She's not ready for that type of change. No, no, but, see, so, but then that's what, that's what brings it. It's like, it's like, I want you over here. You gonna come over here. You gonna come over here. You gonna do what I do. You gonna, you're gonna like it. No, well, I'm just saying. So... Oh, so, at the tell-all, her mother's trying to put it all out there. Like, listen, Nicole has not been the most responsible person. She is not doing the best things that she could. And, Nic- yeah, and Nicole's just not having it. Like, she's not having her mother say anything. She's trying to keep it all secret, hush-hush, on the down low. So, at some point in the tell-all, we are back with everybody. We are sitting with Molly and Luis. And we are sitting with everybody. And... She makes a comment to Molly saying, well, if Azzy would ever talk to my child the way Louise talks Louise talks to your kids, I think that I would have a problem. And honestly, if I was Molly, I would not have handled it as adult as she did because I'd have definitely dug into her. Like, little girl, you can't even afford to put gas in your car. And you're going to tell me what I should and shouldn't be doing. But I think Molly handled it like a woman because I would have handled it like a child. I can't even... I can't even lie. I'd have handled it like a smack the shit out of it. Nope. I wouldn't well, have Well, I mean maybe not. I wouldn't have I way. would not have handled it as well as Molly did, and Molly handled it pretty good. So that's pretty much it. We don't ever see as in we don't know what happens. There was like not even one of those like weird little things where everybody um, walks off the set and tries I seen a little I saw a couple of little videos and it's like it was like probably like three minutes talking about that they still together. I didn't think they broke up. I just think Azen doesn't want to come to the States. Nah. Um, He wants to. He wants to, but there's too many damn rules. Like, he already already got to deal with the rules from the the country. Like, he already got to deal with rules that Trump, you know, from Trump and them. But, nah, it's like, he got to deal with her bullshit. And then she, like, he wants to be able to do, he wants to be able to do what he wants to do. And honestly, yo, Azen can come over here and become a personal trainer. Maybe. So... I, I mean, I'm just saying, I, like, I don't think that, but she, she doesn't want to do any of that. Like, she, she don't want to eat right. And he said, he said, and I quote, if you don't, I'm not I'm coming, not to, coming the States. to America. And that's it. So y'all, that's how the pretty much, that's how the tell all ends for Nicole and as in we, well, for Nicole, because we don't even see as in it ended for as in when Nicole got her butt on a plane. And she flew back home. Asin was done. He did not want to participate with them cameras or them producers. And he made sure that they could not get in contact with him that day or any day before that day. So, I don't know, you guys. We'll see what happens in season six. I'm pretty sure we're going to see uh, Nicole again with a new set of people. Because everyone else has pretty much figured out whatever it is that they're going to figure out. Um, Molly and Luis are married. Eka and Josh married. David and Annie married. Spanish David and Elvin married. Everybody. Everybody got married. Everybody's figuring it out except for Nicole. So I know we're going to see her for a couple of more seasons because Ezen is not really genuinely trying to come to the States. So that's it. That's it for 90 Day Unless, Fiance. Unless they just bullshit. I am really trying to not do this in 30 minutes, sir. Yes, <laughs> they are trying to bullshit and keep going. TLC. Anyway. They need to be like, they need to be like Oprah and shit. But like, uh-uh, no, we already did, we already did two seasons of you. We're so good. anyway, guys, he thinks that they're just trying to gut the check, and they might be, because Nicole needs that check, and so does Azzan. I'm just saying. So, Azen, when we come back in the new year, when we come back in the new year, if you guys see him in videos, because you see my husband likes to linger, um, we're probably going to be, I don't know, are you going to watch, are you going to watch Sister Wise with me? Like the search for sister, like 
Seeking a Sister Wife? No. No? No. Okay, so that'll just be me watching Seeking a Sister Wife. Or I got a problem with that, mother. Seeking That's a Sister right. Wife. It'll oh, probably it just be me. Be I don't know. And it's not him. It's other people Seeking a Sister Wife. Why does, why does anyway, that? you guys, thank you so much for watching this. I am trying to get to 100 subscribers before the 20th of January. That is my goal right now is to get to 100 subscribers. So if you guys could subscribe, share, like this video, I would appreciate it so, 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 so much. I would too because, you know, I just support. He doesn't even know when my videos come out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a <laughs> happy <laughs> new year. And enjoy your nights because we're going to enjoy ours. Peace.